Tony, bro. We appreciate everything you all doing. And that, well, uh, it's like uh, me and Tony tell people down here, it's like, you know, we want to give a perspective to people out there, um, yeah. you know, but we came here because, you know, we when we started doing this YouTube stuff, this is what we were talking about. These are the yeah. things that right. are the big issues. We've been doing this for, or discussing these things for a year, and right. when it happens in your backyard, yep. you can't just do any, I mean, it's it would be hypocritical to not... Uh, you know, do everything you could to be in a participant and support and uh, see how you can be involved and do what you can. So it's going to be good to see, and we'll try and find out what's going on for y'all. And they're going to be here giving us an update. The cool thing is, they came in last night and they gave us a lot. That live fucking report that they did last night was awesome. Yeah, and well, last night we, we kept the chat going uh, for longer than the normal four hours because Tony was able to give us live updates. Him and uh, HDP came in, High Desert Pioneer came in and gave us some killer live updates. I don't think CNN News can do the coverage that, that the Dragon got, babe. The dragon is on it. So, on it. We're on. We're live. We're waiting for Tony to get back in contact with us. And uh, I got to tell you, people are beginning to wake up. Now, I know I pissed off a lot of people with my video, but you know what? Tough shit. Okay? Enough of this bullshit of hemming and hawing. Hemming and hemming and hemming and hawing. I constantly hear people, you know, I mean, with arguments on why should I go stand there? Well, if you're not going to go stand there, where the fuck are you going to go stand? Yeah, why would okay. you go stand with cows? I heard and that. To let you know my position and to let you know how the dragon stands, Poison Stinger is, gonna, is trying to give me the ability to get to Vegas to help, to be able to stand from Illinois. Nice. So, you want to know where the dragon stands? The Dragon supports the people down there. We're going to shout out Tony's PayPal account so he can be able to afford to be down there. Okay? And those of us that can are going to try and get there. Everybody can support the people that are going. James fucking Yeager is going down there, okay, and bringing his camera crews and a shitload of people. So to anybody out there, go fucking show James Yeager some love. And you know there's people on the Dragon that can't stand his murk ass. Yeah, right? I'm one of them. And you know what? And But you know what? Motherfucker's standing up. And that's um, more than a lot of people do. I think he's standing up for the wrong reason. I think he's standing up for his own goddamn channel and his own damn show and whatever. But you know what? At least he's there. Yeah, I guess. I, you know what? I don't believe. I don't know. I don't know if I believe that it's that's just it. Is it part of it? I'm sure it is. He but cares. You know he still did make that video of you're coming for my guns. I'll fucking shoot a motherfucker. Yeah, and he cares. And so the guy read with him. He's a hot head fuck like a lot of us, and yet. I'm not going to say the dude's dishonorable in his way. Now, he was a DEA agent, so you know what? That's the total opposite side of the fence that I'm on, right? Cool. But he's still standing up, and who else is doing it? I mean, now we're starting to hear bunches of people talking about it. But who's really going to stand up? If Jaeger's going down there, then I got to back him, okay? I got to support the man and everybody he brings with because he's fucking standing up for whatever reason. So, we have 10 people out there. How y'all doing? Uh, we're waiting for Tony to join us or, or HDP. So, I'm going to go update and see if there's any comments. If anybody wants a link. I didn't link everybody because I'm trying to keep the bandwidth open for Tony to come in. So... Yeah, DJ. <laughs> hey, man. Well, no, once he jumps in, I'm, you know, oh, we're going to turn off our cameras and shit, so that way, that way he can be able to have all the bandwidth he needs. And well, by the way, that flag that you're seeing when I speak, 
That's Tactical Tony's flag from Bunkerville. Yep. Yeah, Tactical Tony was on national TV too, but he was there with a 3% flag waving in the face of the snipers on the fucking hill. So yeah. was HDP, guys. Don't forget right. HDP's HDP. video made it up too. Yep. So, you know, all these guys that want to fucking stand back in the shadows and try to rake in fucking money to their channels on this, you know, they can just sit right the fuck down and shut yeah. up. Yeah, there's no, a big I don't fucking give a difference between behind you flag. while you're doing your video from the comfort of your own home, and it, there's a difference between that and flying one in the face of tyranny itself through a rifle scope. Yeah, calm down, little feller. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, don't calm down. You know no, what? I'm fucking <laughs> with you. <laughs> I'll support everybody that shows up out there. Okay, but, whoever they you know, fucking are. Before, before anybody um, jumps on the bandwagon that this family is outlaws, they don't want to pay their grazing permits. Um, just shut the fuck up. And yeah, they said they pay those permits. Let me do some shout outs. Uh long hair long thirteen hair. What's up, Rich? How you doing? Gerald B, how you doing? Yeah, I mean, you know what? It is what it is. Rick Cleek, how you doing? Yep. Jaeger will attract attention. You're right, my friend. Joel Sweatman. Jay Moore. Hi Jay. Handley uh three twenty one is the one who who asked if they got the cell phones back up. I don't know. Like I said, we're trying to get uh, them back online with us. DJ Moore shouting us out. Joanne Steen, how you doing over there in Aussie? Hugs to you back, Joanne. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Ronnie Brown, Jay Mangoes, and me and Stank. Okay. So you guys are welcome to join us. And we're trying. Okay. Green Dragons not out here spreading this news for the money. Who's okay. being making no money? You know what we're out here doing this for because it's the right fucking thing to do. Okay, why did those men, men, go down there and st and bring their firearms and stand out there with their firearms because they believe it's the right thing to do? They're not they afraid. Love. Tactical Tony was the first person to openly carry his sidearm, and now everybody around him is doing it because, like a viral video, once one sees it, it spreads. And that's the same with this fucking idea of standing against the goddamn tyrannical government. It's viral. Okay. You spread it to one person, more it, then it goes to the next and the next and the next. Proof, is, proof of the pudding is the political port was the one that shared it with yeah. all of us. I understand everybody, every person who goes out there, every person who goes out to stand with his family is risking the same things our founding fathers risked and everybody who stood up against the tyrannical government of Great Britain. Shit, okay. we're not even just standing up for this family. It's a lot more than that. It's standing up for the freedom, for the Constitution, and for what we believe is right about the nation and what was right at one time. You're right, Sting. Everything's coming together, but the sacrifice yeah. that these people who are going out there, men, women, and children, huge. is mm -hmm. huge. People huge. of America are sick and tired of this kind of crap going on. Like the DJ said, Mule, they need to wake up. Around only because he can. Now, I'll, as we're all seeing, the reasons are not because of the grazing rights. The reasons are not because of the turtle. Somebody else wants this fucking land for that's, whatever That's the reason. real story there, is people are standing up for America, not just that family. That family especially, because we're done letting people get trampled on. Don't tread on me. It's pretty fucking simple. As it, you know, if you're going to give up your liberty for a little bit of safety, then you're stupid. This world is not safe. There's nothing safe about this world. You want the government to provide everything, you might still get hit by a car. Right? Go ahead, Tony. There's so many uh, news networks out here that they're, they're, uh, they're, they're hogging up all the bandwidth, so we have cell coverage and all that, and it just dropped down to nothing. There's, there's got to be at least uh, 20 news networks, maybe more, and they got their big satellite trucks and all that shit, so there's like no cell reception now. So we're having a fight. You should go yell at them and tell them you're supposed to be on air live on the dragon. Well, How are you guys holding up out there? We're good. We're good. 
fucking sun suns at both of us. We're we're both just drained right now. Right. Hey, drink more fluids, buddy. Get yeah. them rehydrate. Make that yeah, yeah. one. Yeah. I didn't do it in I didn't bring no Gatorade or nothing. That's probably why I'm all fucked. Yeah? Yeah. Hey, t Tony, if you guys need to, don't hesitate to dump a little bit of salt in your guys' water because that will uh, replace the electrolytes you sweat out. Yeah, yeah, we just, uh, I just got some Gatorade, so. But, uh, you got any, any questions or anything? Well, yeah, oh. I I have a few for you. Have you guys made it out to the ranch yet? Um, we're actually camping right next to the ranch. We're we're gonna go in uh, probably all the way in here when we get back right now. Um, it was dark when we got here last night, so I mean we could have went down there, and I believe that we've been invited down there. We just haven't done it yet. We just we've been checking out what's going on kind of on the outskirts because there's no BLM, there's no feds at all around the protest unless they're there covertly. There's uh, there, there's a couple surveillance helicopters flew above us uh, while we were out there, but there's no um, federal presence at all, just uh, local police. <coughs> right, right. Well, it's good to hear that you guys are going to go camp within the ranch, the 150 acres of the ranch. So that way you're on private property yeah. tonight. Yeah, well, another reason we kind of stayed where we were, because that's, that's where the cell coverage is real good right there. Right, right. That's how we've been able to upload and do all that. But since, was, um, since the CNN truck showed up, pretty much we fucking haven't had no, no cell coverage. Well, it wouldn't surprise me if they're blocking a lot of people's cell coverage just to get their stuff out. I mean, they are the government news network, right? They should change yeah. their name to GNN at this point. Yeah. I mean, our Tenth Amendment clearly says anything not taken from the states in the Constitution is the state's power. Well, it's for yeah. information and disinformation. One thing that we've got to keep into consideration, too, is you're going to have a lot, uh, who knows what the amount of disinformation is being mm. put out on top of everything. Mm. So, you know, it's all got to, where we've got HDP and Tony right there, we yep. might as well, before we get crazy about something, we might as well see if they can get a text out or something, and then if we yeah. cannot get any information from them, then maybe think that something has a little bit of validity to it. If there's a little break in the conversation, Mill, um, HDP is tweeting some stuff. I wouldn't mind reading if you're all right. Um, he tweets, the first one, cell service issues at Bundy Ranch are due to TV trucks in the area. No cell towers are shut down yet. Another one says, um, to, it's a response to what wake up. Uh, not true. It's TV truck interference. That's all. He must have been asking if they're shutting it down. He also says later, I added a video to YouTube playlist, uh, and there's the link to it on his Twitter page, Bundy Ranch Midday Update, which we most of us here on the panel have seen that. Um, added, added a video to a playlist, The King's Land. I believe that was Tony's. No, that was his on the way down there. Um, he's adding a lot of videos. And that's a great video, the King's Land video that HDP yeah. uh, posted. All... HDP is the thoughtful person who I really recommend you go listen to some of his videos. Now, visually, are they the most exciting? Well, you know what? No. A lot of times he's showing beautiful landscapes. But well, let's, let's clarify. HDP, that's his, that's, his, um, that's his short name. You have to look up High Desert Pioneer. That's his YouTube channel. And from that, you can find all of his other information. Uh, one last tweet, though. Uh, he tweets out about 11 minutes ago, two Oath Keepers just arrived at the Bundy Ranch, drove all day from Colorado on motorcycles. So two more got there. And I, I would like to know if uh, they still have their firearms. Um, what was I going to say? Like, you know, I work in telecom and stuff, and, like, whenever there's a large number of people in an area, there's only so much bandwidth for a certain area. You know what I'm saying? 
And since there's so many people out there with cell phones, they probably can't even really get cell calls through and stuff like that. Right, right. And, I mean, you think about it, the population of that town quadrupled in a couple of days. Right, right. So they're to add media to it. Yeah. So they're sucking up a lot of bandwidth, like, especially, like, when you go to Vegas around, or even not in Vegas, any major city around New Year's Day or something, and everybody's trying to send out that Happy New Year's or that call. Shit. I've gotten New Year's, like, even out here in Little Rock, I've gotten Happy New Year's texts that I know were sent right at midnight, and it, sometimes it'll be 15, 20 minutes later. it be like a backlog. Now, for the better part of 20 years, but that the Bundy family simply will... Hold on, I'm going to rewind it just a little bit. ...will be, be moving here after me. Now, the Bureau of Land Management is holding a conference call right now. We are listening in, Maddie. The Bureau of Land Management says they have been trying to resolve this now for the better part of 20 years, but that the Bundy family simply will not follow court orders. Listen to moments ago how they responded. Play this. Before answering questions, let me reiterate we are engaged in this because a single individual continues to defy court orders and refuses to abide by the law of the land. His actions do a disservice to thousands of law-abiding ranchers in the West who legally graze their cattle on public land and pay their grazing fees. The Bundys have called for a protest tomorrow. Well, they're trying to blame the Bundys. Well, yeah, they're saying they're doing an unlawful act. Well, you know what? Who wrote those laws? The BLM. And, you know, nobody nobody said that they could write those laws. They're the ones that wrote it without permission from anybody. And it's a lot of, it's a lot of fucking just speculation and not knowing mostly. If anyone's got a question, I would hit him up now while he's got service. Yeah, we, um, I don't know, we're probably going to try to maybe take the high ground tonight and just watch our backs. Uh, WM Warriors wants to know about how many armed citizens are there? Everybody. All right. Yeah, it's uh, I, like I was saying, it's all fucked up out here as far as the rumor mill goes. Yeah. Keeps you on your toes, though. I can imagine. You know what I mean, and try to thank everybody. Um, I tell you what, man, I couldn't do this shit without everybody having my back, everybody helping me out. I couldn't do it without yeah, High really. Desert being here. Right. You yeah. Know, um, uh, shout out to Political Port, um, you know. Now, are you calling uh, your... Even, even, you know what, you know what, hell mm. is going to freeze over right now. You want to know why? Mm. Why? Because I'll even shout out fucking James Yeager. Oh! Whoa! Yeah, he's supposedly on his way, and, uh, yeah, he's on his, he says he's on his way, and you know what I mean? The only problem I ever had with James Yeager... Probably that he was a fake motherfucker. Oh, now we're... Whether you're just starting your 401k or you're ready for retirement, we'll help you get there. And this is a Fox News alert. We continue to follow the tense standoff between Nevada Rancher Clive and Bundy and the federal government over cattle grazing rights. Heavily armed federal officials have surrounded the ranch after impounding hundreds of cattle this week. Uh, Bundy family supporters have come out strong to fight against the government, but they all say they hope for a peaceful resolution. Back with us now to see what we can expect over the weekend. In the days ahead is Fox's own William Lodge and S. William, as you heard tonight, very tense night tonight. Yeah, and they're expecting uh, a lot of people tomorrow because they're coming from around the country, and there'll be a rally tomorrow morning around 9 a.m. at the Bundy Ranch with militia members coming from around the country, supporters, also those uh, people in Nevada, ranchers, timber cutters, mining, uh, people rural have a rural way of life and feel that life is under attack, if you will, by federal land use policies. Sean? All right, William, thanks so much. We're going to continue to follow the story all weekend long, and we'll have our reporters on the ground all day Monday, and that is all the time we have left this evening. Before we go, hope you'll set your DVR. All right, well, that was all the pertinent information that he had on that. What's up? Yeah, there's both of them. Look at them. They're having a great old time at the... <laughs> Donald, we just make sure you know we're having fun. <laughs> it's not just serious around here. <laughs> yeah. So much. For, I can only hear you right now. 
What's that? I said so much for protesting when you're uh, going out for Happy Meals and shit. I want right. to see uh, well, war paint on your faces. And I think the biggest thing is everybody still needs to understand. If you do come out here or thinking about it or whatever or donate money or right. everything has to still be in consideration that this is Clive and Bundy's deal. Yeah, no doubt. Um, whatever happens is attached to his name. Yep. Is is it's gonna be you know legacy wise and not to make him sound like a greater the man than what he is. I mean he's no 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 no, no, no. But if, if, goes, yeah, if somebody goes crazy, then it goes on him, not the crazy person. Yeah, we've been talking about this the whole time since the Green Dragon started. We've been talking about this and um, everything. You know, I mean, everything we talked about is pretty much true. You know, besides maybe some of the wild conspiracies, but. You know, okay. even out here, there's wild conspiracies going on all over, so... That's what the boys were saying earlier, what yeah, you just you, said. Desert, before you guys go, can you show it? Can you give us, like, some, some clips or, like, uh, just start nice. shooting right now? Like, show us what you're seeing. Well, right now we're at McDonald's. Is this in the show? <laughs> oh, I thought, oh, my bad. I thought you want to just do your, your toys. But uh, here, like, here's my icon. My picture here as I'm talking. This is from breakfast this morning. This is the spread they laid out. They brought. They got a big grill laid out. You know, pancakes and everything. That was great. Um, I can do a screen share here. Let me uh, pull up a video. One of the. I had to get everything off my video card because it's about full. Um, when you get back there tonight, guys, or try to call us back, bro, and let us just see what you're seeing tonight, like before you all get a better. We All right, so this is our video. This is the press conference. Did anybody watch the press conference today? We've been doing with you guys, so we okay. I haven't seen it yet. And then I well, have... and that's the thing. The media was all up front, so you don't see the media never showed the crowd. I don't think, except maybe at the beginning. They had some stock footage from the beginning, but uh, everybody's gathered around, as you can see on the far side, and it goes all the way back behind that TV truck. Uh, wow. But he, this is when he got up there, spoke about the rules and what they expected. Um, you know, is it, that's all the whole, the whole background. Back there. What's so that? Much, you got so much uploading when you go home, boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's all on the it's on the computer now. This today is, but uh, yeah, this this is everybody here. This is Pete Santelli right here in the corner. The Where guy in the red band. It's this guy right here in the bandana. Um, yeah, they're questionable. Um, but so that's. Ah, eh, not really. Just ask him where he got his no BLM pan. He's got a he's got a BLM pan with those cross through it. Um, here's another one. This is when Cliven got up and spoke. Uh, you can see kind of what was going on. I had to move around here a little bit to get a better angle. I tried to. It was really hard to get the audio. They it was really hard to hear them. Uh, the audio system the audio system wasn't that great. I bet you were so thankful and so happy that everybody was there supporting. Uh, yeah, I mean, again, I think it's a, I think part of it is they want the crowd there to keep everybody focused on it right. while they try to take care of business behind the scenes because right. they are trying to get their cattle back actually to save their livelihood. You know, um, and I think they're really pushing. You know, they got they got cowboys out and about out in the hinterlands. I'm pretty sure, and they're they're trying to keep that under wraps while all this is going on, and this is the show. To kind of distract from that. That's my opinion, and that's that's a good strategy, if you ask me. Are they, um, are they trying to still steal the cattle, though? Are they still trying to with the helicopters and the fuck? I mean, because they said last time we checked, they stole almost three hundred cattle right now. That's where the number is. Right, and they're 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 still under four hundred. They only got like fifty in the last two days. Yesterday and today, they didn't get a whole lot because those first two days of helicopter ops dispersed so many cattle. Uh, because they started going to the winds, I guess. They probably spooked them pretty good. And they're in such rough yeah. country and terrain around Lake Mead and stuff yeah. that uh, uh, they're hard to get to. And they and like talking to some of the people that are helping the Bundys and some of their wranglers, uh, basically the people they brought in are amateurs when it comes to this country or working in this terrain. So I don't know where they came from. I think they came from Utah, but uh, apparently, I think maybe Colorado. Did you see the fucking helicopter... I mean, did you see that or no? No, the, the helicopters aren't doing a roundup anymore because the cattle are so dispersed. I understand. The cattle's only did it the last two the two days ago. Um, 
and a little bit yesterday maybe, but two days ago is when they did the majority of that, when they were running them through the river and stuff because they had them in little groups. Now they're just dispersed and they can't, it's not fuel efficient. So they got people on horseback and that's where the Bundys have the advantage. And I think they're trying to use that. Yeah, the original reports I had heard it was 30 cattle that they had rounded up, but you're now saying it was only 20? That's what the Bundys got back themselves, 30, yeah, 30 to 20. I mean, I'm not sure. I'm, who knows what the official – maybe they got 50 and they just want to say 30. I don't know. Maybe they want right. to have a small victory and they actually got 50. Yeah. <laughs> um, but they got some back themselves from the feds somehow, and then they got some off the open range. Themselves. Now, your personal opinion, do you think that the BLM is going to let him keep cows on his own property and just leave once they got the rest of the wild ones rounded up? That's, uh, I mean, they, they uh, legally, uh, by the way the law is, they have to. Well, but, no, they're but, not doing but, anything illegal. Right, right. Um, that would cause even, that, that would just bring this whole thing back to where it was yesterday or the day before. Um, that would be, it would be more, more strict. That would be really bad. <laughs> you're going, you're going backwards two steps instead of forwards on that one. Right. Uh, for sure. I don't, I don't know what it would motivate, what they're, Unless their ultimate purpose is just to get him out of here and shut him down, I don't know why they would do that. But that might be their ultimate purpose. Well, they're definitely not. Which is a good theory mind. based with with all the different reports and the theories and the rumors going around about why this is going on. Is it the minerals? Is it the fracking? Is it the solar plant? You know, if any of those things are true, then yeah, maybe the only thing is is they want to get him out of here, old west style, get a guy off his land and put him out of never to come back. So they can do something with it. Yeah, that's old school range war. Well, that's where the whole really range war comes about, from. Yeah, and if it was about taxes, okay, if it was about taxes, they they're not getting their money out of it because last report I heard it was three million dollars the government put into this, and I mean they're not going to get but what a, not even a fraction of that back with the cattle if they sell them. Yeah, and who knows so how many they the killed out there? I mean, who know, who knows how many are dead out there? That's yeah. fucking sad, man. That's yeah, I mean, when you look at the way they did it, and I think I commented on this yesterday on one of my videos, uh, maybe when I did the day last this morning, um, the way they did it with rounding up cattle by helicopter with not care for their care or anything, it's just to get them off the land, not for selling them and getting the money out of them. Um, it's to put this guy out of business. Hey, where's, yeah, where's PETA? You know, this is definitely an abuse <laughs> of, of animals. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think uh, they're they're caring very much with the tortoise either, you know. And, they don't uh, care about uh, any of that. Yeah, and Hannity actually confirmed that they are overpopulated, that there are too many turtles, and that they are euthanizing them in Las Vegas. So the same people that are saying this is about the turtles are euthanizing them in Vegas and know for a fact that there's actually an overpopulation of them right now. Right. Um, I mean, me and a buddy were joking, and anybody that's ever been to 29 Palms for training uh, knows about the infamous stories about coming across a desert tortoise, you know. You steer clear of them, but yet they've got tanks running over them regularly out there in the middle of the desert. And, uh, yeah, you report it, and it gets documented, but it's not like it's uh, as long as you didn't do it on purpose, no harm, no foul. i got, uh, got a couple of questions to ask. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Uh, there's a couple of rumors going around. One of them being that the uh, BLM during the roundup had actually caused a couple of cows to die, and they were they had buried them. Is that true? I don't think they've proven it because they uh, that that was the theory because they came off there with the backhoe and everything. They they probably needed the backhoe to move the waterers that they removed from the land because they put the uh, the, the catch, they have water collectors out there that catch groundwater and rain for the cows to use that in areas that are not quite as, uh, you know, uh, watery or whatever, you know, just to give them easier access. Uh, but they needed that backhoe for that. Um, but the theory is that they were running some of those cattle to death. There's, cattle had to die the way they were using those helicopters two days ago um, between the calves and the moms getting separated and just the heat and everything. and getting, They were going through bottomland that was muddy. Uh, there, there's almost no way they couldn't have killed some cattle. Okay, doke. And uh, the the other rumor was going around that they were that they were buzzing the place with actual black attack helicopters. I have not seen any type of military helicopter, nor do I think anybody else has. 
they have there's there's the white one that they were using, really lightweight one to chase out chase the um, animals, the cattle, and then there was another one with a FLIR infrared front uh, head uh, device. So it's, it, so it's got all the f uh, instrumentation on the front of it. That's probably it. It doesn't. L I mean, it's got the all the Ford FLIR on it. So where that came from and who that belongs to, I don't know. But I don't think they're using that for uh, cat. I want to tell you real quick, you're getting a lot of support in the chat room right now. I'm not going to go and read them all, but a lot of them are wishing you guys good luck and stay safe out there. Uh, that's why I had a little bit more of a full well, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure they are. If, if yeah, I'm sure down. they're going to. I don't believe they're backing down. That's just my opinion, though. I, I believe maybe they're probably reorganizing, seeing what they can do. You know what I mean? Because... The rumor is going on out here that there's going to be a thou thousands of militia members here by tomorrow. So I think, you know, I mean, they might be waiting to see if that's real or, <clears throat> you know, I don't uh, know. Kenny and Linda is asking if there's any Native, Native Americans. And Mule, no. I love your uh, wallpaper. <laughs> Zero. Only Native Americans is probably what is it, eighty miles back in Vegas, waiting for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, do you think if the Feds did pull something crazy off and it got heated over there and they started some stuff, do you think the crew that's over there or supposedly headed over there is going to actually be able to look out for anybody? Are they organized and outfitted to any real degree to be able to do anything? Um, the organization, I would say no. I mean, unless unless that's their strategy to look fucking discombobulated, you know. I mean, that might be. You know, I mean, that might be their strategy. I'm not sure, but I mean. If you're, t if I was gonna give like a honest opinion, you know, what I mean, say like, you know, when I went into the military or whatever, when we went on deployment, <clears throat> I knew everybody was gonna do their job. I knew everybody was gonna have back, even if they didn't like me, even if I didn't like, even if I didn't like them, I still respected them. They knew the job was gonna get done. I knew the job was gonna get done. We could count on each other. Uh, it was organized. This is the total opposite. So I think that's where my apprehension comes from mm, man but um yeah i mean i i would you know i'm just reporting honest i mean maybe hdp hdp's opinion uh is a little different than mine but just yeah, what is the militia and, yeah what's your opinion on the militia that's here that you've seen so far good or bad for the ranch or the protest yeah yeah. Um, like I was saying, I think, am I on? Yeah. Uh, I would say about sixty percent are kind of what you would expect. You know, they're not they're not a SF unit, and they're not, you know, ground pounding hard chargers, but they they're competent enough to hold a gun and make calm decisions. You know, as best they can. Uh, but forty percent, I would say, are probably just uh. The kind of guys that are in it for the rush, they have the wrong mentality when they kind of got into it, and they're dangerous. That makes sense, guys. Uh, well, well Tony. Yeah, and we're just. Yeah. That changed, um, Tony, I think he he just said if he didn't tell you guys, he just said that uh, his opinion on Oath Keepers has changed. The Oath Keepers here are good guys compared to what he's seen in the past. Yeah, it was pretty solid. I was, we were both shocked. We were, that's when we were going from the Lake Mead back, and we're like, what? And Tony's like, oh, I'm totally misjudged. I'm like, yeah, you got to make a, you got to say you're sorry. <laughs> yeah. No, I told him when he gets here, he's got to, you know, because what was he said? Well, he said something in the video. If you're there, let us know. We want to have your story. And I told Tony, you go up to him and tell him your, you know, I want to give you my story. <laughs> I think you remember him. <laughs> Well, hell, that might be a really good show for Tony's channel later on, too. But that would be the, you know, manly thing to do is both, you know, come together and, hey, this, uh, you offer, this is, yeah. I'll give some well, I'm still waiting to find out what piece of kit you guys didn't bring that you're like, oh, man, I can't believe I forgot that. Okay, well, you know what's funny is, is last night I was, uh, 
We went to the rack, you know, and I was like, man, I'm missing my watch cap. I didn't have my beanie, and I was like, ah, I missed my beanie. And then I realized I was, I was thinking my desert tan one in my head, and my red one was in my bag the whole time, and I just found it this afternoon. I was like, ah. Oh. So, <laughs> well, at least you got one for the I guess night. I forgot forgot my mind more than anything. Um, yeah, piece of kit. I mean, pretty much I loaded the kitchen sink. Um, <laughs> Anything and everything you could think might be useful. Yeah, yeah I know I forgot something. Well, you know what? You know what I forgot, Justin. Justin, Justin, his spiel on nutrition and eating good, and I had I had packed a bag of apples and some oranges and some carrots and uh, stuff like that, and I left it at work. Oh. <laughs> uh, so I had all my like because I I've got MREs and I had some other stuff, but fortunately they're feeding everybody good. I mean. It was uh, the breakfast was awesome and the pizza and stuff. So you, you they got and they got plenty of water out here. I mean, you worried about eating good? Yeah, I'm worried about eating too much. That's what <laughs> now we're, we just had a snack here just to claim their Wi-Fi. Back. Come on, a headlamp. Well, he said he was going he said he was gonna get a flashlight. That's one of his goals. So that was one thing. Yeah, third option is but, saying uh, uh, if Tony PMs him his address, he'll mail him a headlamp. <laughs> Sweet. So third op's oh, out yeah? there then. Third op got a chance to join us. Good deal, dude. I was yeah, just he's calling us a panel of paid shills. <laughs> that's my man. Thanks, third that's op. That's the third option we all know and love. He's back in action. Well, no, that's okay. We know we hope. Hope. Well, you know he's my favorite right. NSA guy, right? So yeah. <laughs> glad, to, glad to see that they brought they sent you back our way. Okay, how was your debrief? I was just oh, worried that's the feds were going to... I was just worried that the feds were going to make it all heated over there, and I was telling everybody, you know, I don't expect, you know, it to be freaking peaceful. You know, the feds never make it peaceful. I'm surprised that they ran off like that. I guess we did our job the right way, so. Oh, they're not away yet. They're just regrouping. Well, and that's just it. You know, stay on your toes. Don't assume that, it, you know, it's... You know, be be hardcore out there, but do it the right way, I guess. I don't want to see anybody get hurt, and I I don't have any problem seeing bad people get hurt, but you know, good people need to be ready to to deal with stuff. Well, yeah. just to catch uh, Justin, just to catch you up a little bit, I don't know how much you've been keeping up with it, but there are a lot of rumors. Once again, rumors that they're bringing in LRADs, they're bringing in military. They've already they've already confirmed there was a tank in the area. So uh, they did yeah, confirm that. What do you mean they confirmed that? As far as I knew, they confirmed it, but once again, it you know, shit that I thought was confirmed ended up being rumor later on, so take it for what you will. Yeah, I was thinking they were confiscating guns at checkpoints and they shut off the cell towers. I had it bad. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Was total uh, that rumor was going around. Uh, it, I mean, the whole... And when we got this LRAD rumor and everything, and I was telling Tony, <laughs> it's just like Intel... You'd get in Afghanistan where there's a hundred Taliban in the bazaar across the border. They're going to hit a border checkpoint, you know, in two days and nothing ever happens. And like a week later, three guys attack the border checkpoint or something. It's just totally blown out of proportion. Um, hype, it's, it seems. I don't know. It just sounds like the same type of stuff. Or, Bad CIA or operation. <laughs> or the opposite happens. They say, oh, there's a hundred guys and then there ends up to be a thousand. You know, it can it goes both yeah, ways. That you know. that is, yeah, but uh, having until that bad doesn't happen very often these days. Maybe f a couple wars ago. Cliven? Yeah, what are you yeah. watching? Um, no, I just I just threw up that picture. Greg shared a picture. Oh, oh where'd you find it? Oh, I'm wondering. The, in the Google Plus, somebody put it up. Saying, oh, oh, there you go. That's it right there. Yeah, bam. Yeah, I'm hoping, uh, I'm uh, hoping that Clive has a has at least some sort of vest on, too, but it doesn't look like it. Nope. But yeah, you know what? That's, that's no, not a bad thing. I know it may, be, it may seem intimidating, but you know what? There are people in that crowd that have nefarious ends in their mind. You know? Even just yeah, some people yeah. going out and there I, and saying... Well, you know, fuck it, I'll start it off, right? And why not right, better right. as a martyr than the man standing up, right? So it's good at least some people are around there keeping an eye on him. Yeah, and I, we don't doubt that he needs somebody to be around. It's just their demeanor 
which we again looked at it as there's benefits and downsides to it because it helps put him in the position of showing him as the leader uh, to the whole group, I think, because it has that presence, which is good because everybody needs to understand that the family is in charge of whatever group. And I agree with that 100%. Uh, so yeah, it helps that image, for too. Them, so they should be calling the shots. It's their ass on the line, first and foremost. Yeah, it's their name. It's everything. Yeah. And can you also dispel the rumors that Tactical Tony 702 <laughs> only brought Red Bull and Trail Mix? <laughs> yeah, he was he uh he actually brought a cooler. Um he brought water, he brought his own case of water. He was squared away on that. Uh so he brought more than just Red Bull and Trail Mix. Okay. <laughs> now, we do have a question in the chat room for you uh from Mystical Carter. What's the potential of the situation going extreme and do you think uh that he Suppose 5,000 militia will show up and kick some dust up. So I'm guessing that means, do you think that uh, Bundy thinks that 5,000 militia were actually going to show up and kick some ass? And what's the potential of the situation going into? No. Um. Yeah, HTP kind of covered that a little earlier. He was explaining how you know the Bundys do want a lot of people there. But they want to work this out the safest way possible, and most of that's going to be probably well, behind work, the scenes. Yeah, they're working their own stuff behind the scenes. They're keeping this large presence out there and keeping that the focus. This is my opinion, I because mean, I don't see what's going on behind the closed doors. But we do know they've been able to get cattle on their own off the land. They got some directly. They got some from the rustlers that are out there trying to get them off the land. So they've been able to go behind, you know, behind the scenes and do this already. Um, and I think that's probably their strategy. Keep the focus on this large group of people that are here to support you and make that the focus of the press and everything else. Meanwhile, you got all your ranch hands, all your family out there covering 600,000 acres and finding your cattle. I mean, there's 900 head of cattle out there and that 600,000 acres. Even those helicopters the feds had, you know, only picked up, what, 250 and they've recovered another 100 in the last two days just on by hand. And like the guys were saying... Uh, today, these people they've hired don't aren't necessarily the best cattle rustlers either. Um, <laughs> the kind of people the the kind of people that the feds go to hire for this type stuff, you know, lowest bidder, right? Um, yeah. They're not going to get the best ranch hands, so they're not the best in this terrain or messing with these cattle out there, and they're subpar performance in that, and uh, it gives them an advantage out there in the ground, and they're trying to use that, I think. So, I, they. they I think Mr. Bundy mentions the militia so much because he believes in it. It's constitutional, and uh, the whole state sovereignty and everything. He's talked about that several times, and he brings up the militia because he thinks that's the best offense for the people is a militia, um, and that's part of his this part of his nature. So I think that's where that comes from as well. Or whatever is yeah. He, Joel called now and he said the thing's full. And holy smokes. He, Hey, just yeah. real cool. We, we're going to bounce here. We're going to roll out. Um, so we'll catch you guys around 11 o'clock hour um, on our time. But, uh, again, thanks to everybody for the views and checking out our channels. Uh, we're trying to just get everything to you we can. That you know, Again, trying to keep it fair and as even-headed and uh, as rumor mill-free as possible. And either confirm or deny if we know. But the views are just off the charts. I mean, I've had my most views on any video today. So thanks. Well, awesome, brother. It's hey. our pleasure, man. Thank you guys for doing what you're doing, and, you know, don't let your guard down. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, no doubt. Nine, six, and three. Yeah. <laughs> it's all part of the process. I'm glad it's more chill over there than I thought it was going to be. I really thought there was going to be a lot more pushback from the feds, and I thought it was, I thought they'd have instigated something by now. Right. Well, well I would just, sorry, go ahead. You know, there at the beginning, you know, where they pretty much had superiority, you know, they took that attitude, but now they can't take that tax without starting a shit storm. Oh, yeah. Well, and it's good. You know, I, I think it's it's people taking it so seriously and, and rolling up there in force that really, um, you know, allowed that to happen. You know, the old adage, you know, an armed society is a polite society. Mm -hmm. And when you've got numbers, they tend to be a bit more peaceful toward you. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. You know, and finally, we have a little bit more... Uh 
uh, newsworthiness because we actually have people on scene. Right, but that was just luck of the draw on where this is happening, right? I think it's going to be like that more often, to be honest with you, Mule. I mean, we got people in the Dragon from all over. I don't think there's a place in these United States other than maybe Hawaii that uh, if tyranny happens, we're not going to have somebody nearby. To me, that's oh, what uh, men do. Hey, what's up, Tone? What's up? Can you hear me good? Yeah. Yeah. Right on. We just got... Oh, shit. We just got back to the campsite, and um, still a good amount of people here. It's quieting down, though. Most of the news is left. There's a couple news trucks, though. Well, that's probably why you have Wi-Fi, why you have a cell signal now. Yeah. Hence so, another reason why that rumor is full. Right. Yep. So the cell towers up, they're right outside the Bundy Ranch right now. So if you're talking to us, the cell towers are working fine on the media side. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, Sweet. it's really it's really, really nice out too right now. It's not like chilly at all. It's really, really nice. Cool. Good. It'll be, it'll be cold later, but for right now we're good. We're golden. Right. Remind HDP to put his beanie on. <laughs> right. Yeah, he was roughing it last night. He was sleeping on that concrete. Or is it? Ooh, it's not man. concrete. It's a. It's a asphalt road, is what it was actually. There's a story out there that the FAA or whatever locked this place down. It's a no-fly zone now. Yeah, actually, Riddle Girl passed that along. She got it right from the FAA. So if anybody there asks you, it is true. And if you get to check the chat, uh, she had put the link a couple of times in the chat room itself. So. Yeah. Now, it is only a no-fly zone to everybody but the BLM. Yeah, I know, yeah. No meta that. No meta that. Nothing. No news chopper. Well, now, blocking the medevac, so. that's wrong. That's just wrong. Blocking the medevac, that's bullshit. That could cause somebody, you know, if something happened. You know, we were just meeting. Had an accident or a seizure or something. or that could Well, whenever they call 911, they're threatening yeah, no, to uh, federal charges. Sorry, Tom. Yeah, I mean, we, um, we drove past the... Uh, we drove past the staging area, and they got that shit lit up like a Christmas tree. Big ass lights, and um, the you know they got so many federal forces over there, and they they got their lights pointing towards the road. So even if you wanted to to come up to the gate, you would basically be blinded. You wouldn't be able to see shit because they they're shining towards the road. You know, and I mean they're far and few in between, but yeah. But the Old Keepers is an organization has, you know, at least for me, the way I've seen it, disappointed me a little bit. And to hear from Tony and H and High Desert Pioneer that they're making a, their presence known out there and standing with we the people, you know, then that's awesome. And yeah, that's they, not, 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 only the, not only that, but they, they welcomed, welcomed us in with open arms last night when we arrived. Sweet. Uh, I, I talked to... Uh, I talked to Glenn, you know, Wild Iron Horseman a lot, and uh, he's a good guy, man. He's, he's you know, professional about it. He's, he's knowledgeable. You know what I mean? He's restrained. You know what I mean? Um, yes, is that I the right yes, word? I, I think that's the right word. Yep. You know, he's just yep. a good guy, and, and you know, uh, I thought that's what, I, I don't know, maybe that's what I expected out of these guys, but these guys... Um, well, you want to say anything? They shut off the generator. We can't. You can't see us now. Yeah. Hey, there's what, a lot more people here tonight than we were last night. I yeah. Was yeah, there's a lot more people, and there's a lot of people driving in still. What the fuck is that? Somebody with a flashlight? Oh. No noise came. Yeah. Out. Well, um. <laughs> yeah. Are you guys gonna be hanging out in the after chat, or are you just closing it down and splitting? Uh. Yeah. Shout out to everybody, shot. man. Everybody who's who's you know watches the Green Dragon and, and has our backs. You know what I mean. Shout out to all you guys. There's too many of you to do individually, but um, 
I don't know. We really appreciate it. We really appreciate the support. It means a lot. So stop sucking so much juice. But uh, it's just sad, man. You know, especially when you got kids, you got young kids or whatever age your kids are. It don't matter, you know. It's just they will not have the same childhood as we had. They will die. They Yeah. And that's what that's why you guys are out there. That's why more people are coming. That's why a lot of us wish we could be there because we see what's going on and we know that our children are not going to be free. None of us are free even at this point, but they're going to be even less free if we don't do anything about it. You know? Yeah. So you got great points there, Tom. 